Best dash cam battery pack. We got the iRoad Power Pack Pro 12, the Thinkware iVolt Extra, the Black Box My Car Power Cell 8, and the Thinkware iVolt Mini. Let's go. Let's start with the Thinkware iVolt Mini. Obviously, it's not just a clever name, it's the smallest dash cam battery pack that we have here. It's 4,500 milliamp hours rated and 57.6 watt hours. It takes 45 minutes when it's hardwired to fully charge and 90 minutes if you're able to use a cigarette lighter adapter. There is absolutely no smartphone app in order for you to log in and verify how much time is left on the battery pack. The size of this unit is 6.51 inches by 5.17 inches by 1.45. And there's no expansion available, so you can't add another battery pack to this unit, as you can see on the back here. In order to, for the connections that are available, we have basically the connection here, which plugs right into the back. And this right here gives you the three wires to hook up so that you can enable parking mode for the dash camera with a black, red, and yellow wiring. This also has the main power plug, which you need to hook up to accessory or ground. Now keep in mind, a lot of the newer vehicles on the market do not have a high current accessory. It's actually getting a lot harder to find ignition wiring in a lot of the newer vehicles. So you may need to find a low current ignition to trigger the relay and hook up to a high current uh, constant power do that. We're at the end of this video, we're going to show a little diagram of how we recommend doing that. It is completely up to you on whether or not you want to do this method or just use a normal fuse tap. Keep in mind, like I said, a lot of newer vehicles, it's harder to find a new ignition wire. Next, we have the Black Box My Car Power Cell 8, rated at 7,500 milliamp hours and 96 watt hours. It'll take 50 minutes or to fully charge when hardwired set at nine amps or 80 minutes with a cigarette lighter. This is all based off nine amps. And yes, it does have a smartphone app. The smartphone app does allow you to change between 4.5 and nine amps of charging. It'll give you percentage of, of the charge that's actually left on the unit, gives you the output voltage. And if you actually go into settings here, What's actually really cool, uh, something I've never actually seen before, is you can actually go right in and you can actually change the charging current all the way from 4.5 all the way up to 9 amps. So depending on how you hook it up, if you're using a cigarette lighter, obviously I would probably have it down around the 4.5 amps. If you're using a hard wire, probably anywhere between 7.5 and 9 amps of charging capacity. The size of this unit is 5.95 inches by 8.06 inches by 1.28 inches. And yes, you can add a Cell Link Neo extended battery pack. And as you can see from the side of the unit here, this is basically your input. You have your outputs for dash camera, USB output, and you can select between low, off, or high, depending on the charging and how you actually wire it to the vehicle. And for the external battery, you just pull out this little orange rubber thing and boom, you have your output right here. Last but not least, the installation related to this unit comes with a power cable, which gets hooked up to accessory and ground and just plugs in to the backside like so. It also has an output for your dash camera with a red, black, and yellow wire. Same as the iVolt Mini. Now the big thing, like I said already on the iVolt Mini, is sometimes you're gonna get a lot of these newer vehicles that don't have a high current accessory. I know I hear it from other installers out in the field that there is no high current accessory on certain vehicles, they can't find it. And if that does happen, like I said, near the end of the video, we're gonna put out um, a relay diagram of how we would recommend adding a relay in in order to get rid of that. Especially, like, like I said, a lot of these newer vehicles don't even have cigarette lighter plugins anymore. I know my brand new Volkswagen ID4 only has a cigarette lighter plugin in the trunk. Now that might work for you and maybe that's where you want to plug it in, depending if you're a do-it-yourselfer or professional installation technician. The 
Thinkware iVolt Extra Battery Pack. It's 7,500 milliamp hours rated, 96 watt hours. If you hardwire it, it should take approximately 55 minutes on high to fully charge or 110 minutes set on low. The switch is right here on the back for high and low. It also has a smartphone app. The smartphone app is very simple. It, all it really does is give you charging capacity. And if a, if a dash camera is hooked up to it, it will actually tell you the average remaining time left based off the current draw. Now keep in mind, I do find this is not 100% accurate, but I do recommend figuring out the math based off of some of our videos or other people's videos where they're showing you the average current draw that your dash camera will draw while in various different parking modes. The average size, the size of this unit is 6.10 inches by 8.46 inches by 1.38 inches. Now, in terms of the actual hookups, I'm a real big fan of actually how these newer, some of these newer battery packs work. And I know people are gonna say I'm siding with this just because we sell it, but because I'm also an installation technician and I'm using these units all the single time and I'm working on a lot of newer vehicles, I prefer certain installation methods. So the way this works is the same as the other two battery packs. It still has a power and ground connection. Now, the main difference is for this, is this power and ground connection gets hooked up to constant power and ground, not ignition. Notice how the other two, I said ignition and ground. This is constant power and ground. And the main reason why is because on the Thinkware iVolt Extra, it added in this green wire. And this green wire monitors for when the ignition wire is on in the vehicle. So you can find a very low current ignition, which most vehicles you typically can, especially on newer vehicles. And you can hook this up and basically what it's doing is it's telling the dash camera that now you can pull current from the high the, the uh, high current 12 volt, right? And that I really like because all these vehicles still have high current 12 volt, but getting a high current ignition on these newer vehicles is a lot harder. And it still has your normal output of red, black, and yellow. And if you're getting a Thinkware U3000, it does have this plug that will plug into the Thinkware U3000 and give you the average remaining time of the battery pack has left. We also have the iRoad Power Pack Pro 12, rated at 12,000 milliamp hours and 153 watt hours. It should take about 90 minutes on high to fully charge or 180 minutes on low. It doesn't have any smartphone app, but it's digital display as it doesn't have a smartphone app We'll give you some basic information like voltage in, voltage out, and the current it's drawing for the dash camera. Now it is 6.29 inches by 10 by 1.69 inches. And considering just how much, how big this unit is, it's actually not much bigger than other battery packs, as you can see. The installation method, this is very similar to the actual uh, iVolt Extra that we were just talking about. It still has three wires, so it still has constant power, ignition, and ground. And like I already said, on the iVolt Extra, this is something that as an installer, I'm more of a fan of just because of a lot of the newer vehicles that are out there on the market. It also has the outputs, power, ground, and ignition, red, black, yellow, just like the other dash cam battery packs that we all shown here. Seeing this like I did on another video, I've been using this one for about two years now, two and a half years now, and I was still getting 48 hours of record time out of a 250 milliamp hour dash camera. So here is a summary of the specs of the iVolt Mini, PowerCell 8, iVolt Extra, and the PowerPack Pro 12. So what I would recommend doing is pausing right here if you are looking for the specs all in one place. And keep in mind, I've added in the pricing as listed on a lot of the websites. And if you take a look at the USD, the Mini is at 209 USD, the PowerCell 8 at 349 USD, iVolt Extra at 399 USD, and the PowerPack Pro 12 should be about 419 
So what is the average record time of these battery packs? So what we did here is we laid out this diagram showing you the Mini 2, which is a front only camera, the iRoad X11, which is front and rear, the Thinkware U3000 in energy saving mode, which draws like as low as 10 milliamps of current, the Viofo A229 Pro two channel, and we showed the current draw of the three channel dash camera of the A229 Pro. And the main thing we wanted to highlight is how many hours or days Highlighting the Thinkware U3000 on the Powerpack Pro 12 could last as long as 50 days. So if you're going for a very long trip and you're sitting at the airport for a few weeks, that might be a really good option for you. Anyways, take a look at the diagram. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Pros and cons of these four battery packs. Let's start with the iVolt Mini. Pros, very small footprint, should be very easy to hide. Cons, it doesn't have that separate ignition input and it's relying on us finding a high current ignition output for it. It's also very small in terms of battery capacity. So some of these newer dash cameras with like a Starvis 2 sensor that are drawing a little bit more current, it's not really gonna record that long. So for instance, if you get home from work at five o'clock and you're leaving, for work in the morning at let's say, you know, six or seven o'clock, it's not gonna be able to record the entire night on a fully charged battery pack. Now let's move to the PowerCell 8. This one here is bigger in size, which is great. And I really like the, the uh, app. I thought that was really cool that you can actually change the battery amperage that it charges at from 4.5 to nine amps. I actually thought that was really cool. Also, I know when you order from their website, the, you can actually order with like a Viofo end or with like a Thinkware or a Blackview end on the end pre-made because I know not a lot of people are really good at actually figuring out the techie stuff of putting those cables together. Now, us here at Safe Drive Solutions, we don't sell the PowerCell 8, but we thought it was necessary to actually talk about it in here. Now, the only one of the negatives that I did want to talk about is it doesn't have that ignition input. And I know some of you might think that's not really a big deal to you, but for me as an installer, it is because typically if I had to install one of these, which we don't, because we actually only install our dash, our, our own battery packs here from Safe Drive Solutions, you would need to have a relay. And I did promise you, I would show that here at the end. So take a look right here. Here's the diagram showing you how to hook up that relay for the Mini and PowerCell 8 if needed on a newer vehicle. The iVolt Extra. The thing I like about this is it does have the ignition input. And a lot of people, like I said, are probably gonna say I favor this, but I do like that hookup just because of the way a lot of the newer vehicles are. The other thing that's nice, with the amount of Thinkware U3000s we've been doing, it actually will hook up directly to it and it will give you an average battery percentage reading out loud, letting you know. Now, the smartphone app on this particular device is very basic. You have no flexibility of changing any settings like the PowerCell 8 that we previously talked about. However, I mean, realistically, they need to make some improvements, I think, on that. The PowerPack Pro 12. The positives I see is it's 12,000 milliamp hours, and it'll last up to 50 days on a Thinkware U3000. Plus, it's not much bigger than the actual PowerCell 8 or iVolt Extra in size. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit longer, but not by much. The negatives, I really wish it did have a smartphone app just so I could check, because a lot of times you're placing this under a seat or hiding it somewhere in the vehicle, it's very hard to see that digital display. And it is just showing a little bar readout to give you an approximate time that it has left before it shuts off. But that little uh, percentage is kind of hard to guess. But realistically, like I said, we just do the math and we figure out the average times that it should last on a fully charged battery battery pack. I hope this information was good for you. We really want to try hard to give everybody the necessary information so they can make the critical buying choices that they need, especially when buying a battery pack. We've started finding out from a Lexus and Toyota customers 
they've been telling us that the dealership has been telling them that the batteries are not as good inside their vehicles, especially the hybrid ones for, for aftermarket accessories. So a lot of those customers have actually been reaching out to us and getting battery packs or upgrading their batteries under the hood. Now, keep in mind, uh, we, uh, we do professionally install these in Greater Toronto and Vancouver, and we do some installation practices different than the do-it-yourself community. We tend to find heavy gauge wires that are very safe, and we actually splice into these wires, we solder them, and we tape it up nicely. We do have a certain set skill of training, as somebody pointed out to me that, hey, you weren't using a fuse tap in any of your other prior videos. And I said, yes, that's because for many years, myself and my business partner, we've installed car starters, car audio. We have a totally different set of skills that most of the people actually don't have that are in this um, industry. Most of them are used to using fuse taps. However, a lot of these newer vehicles don't have uh, ignition fuse taps. We, some of our competitors will reach out to us and we do try and talk to them and we also will help them out from time to time. And a lot of them tell me like, hey, this new vehicle doesn't have one. I have to go completely under the hood. And I will tell you this, Safe Drive Solutions, we do not go under the hood for any connection. We try and do our best to research the wiring available to us to find the wiring inside the vehicle safely. Now, we also add our own fuse holder in line every single time we actually do these vehicles. It's very important for us to do uh, our certain safety things. And we also do have full insurance. Now, I'm not trying to have a big pitch, but I'm just trying to explain why we do things the way we do. I'm not saying that if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're doing a fuse tap, that that's bad. I'm just saying that's not how we do things. And a lot of people will ask us what fuse tap I would use for a battery pack. We are not going to have those answers because we will not hook it up that way. We find that there may be more challenges from hooking up a 20 amp fuse to an existing circuit than it would be for us to find a heavy gauge wire that's 80 amps or 100 amps rated coming directly from your hood, sorry, from underneath your hood for your battery, for us to integrate directly into that and then put our own 20 amp fuse in there. We don't really have any issues like that. Keep in mind, like I said earlier, we have a different set of skills and tons of training. We do this safely. We haven't had any damage claims when we've actually been pursuing and doing it this way. And at the end of the day, we just want to make sure that everything is done safely. If you do have any questions or concerns, please leave them down below. I'm sure lots of people are going to say, I can't believe you're not using fuse taps. And that's fine. I appreciate all of you. I'm, I'm glad we're watching the, the channel grow. Uh, I hope you like seeing us bring on some competitors products all the time. And we're trying to be completely unbiased and uh, present them fairly. I do feel that the PowerShell 8 is a good battery pack, just it's not something that we offer here. Anyways, thanks again.